All right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. Well, it's a short list of men and women who have held UFC belts simultaneously in two divisions, and God damn it, DC, you're on that list, man. Let's see how it goes for you here tonight, though. You're the underdog. I'm one of the blessed ones, John, to have been able to accomplish the things that I've accomplished, but it's taken a lot of hard work. Really focus on the striking, the grappling, having a great team at the American Kickboxing Academy, and as I walk to the Octagon tonight, I am trying to show all the work that I have put in and hope that it's enough to get the hand raised once again inside the UFC's octagon. It is amazing to think that you didn't get your start in mixed martial arts until you were 31 years old. And one thing I've always said about you, even if it hasn't been the greatest training camp of your life, you have a penchant for rising to the occasion. There's something about fight night and those bright lights that once you sort of flip that switch, you're able to excel when a lot of guys fall. I'm a competitor from yeah. the octagon to mad. I just want to uh -huh. win. While the bonuses and the accolades have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so, of course, who can forget when he wrested the belt away from Fabricio Verdum in Brazil at UFC 198. And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Stipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a division one level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. Fights fires pretty well too. I'm He's told. really good at that. Yes, uh -huh. I went to the firehouse and it's intense as it comes. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Mia Chich is 37, Cormier is 41. Mia Chich is five inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel. DC Cormier! And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Steve Hay! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go, round one. Stipe Miocic, Daniel Cormier. This is a fight we have seen before. A lot of fight. Whoa! Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, big left. Huge shots there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got that tight. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground. And that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this He fight. felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Cormier's pass attempt denied. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, 
continue the game posture and rain out big strikes at your point. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Mia Chich's eye really starting to close up. Got to get that end spell on it. Two rounds if we get there. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, side control now. Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cormier. Neon belly, big strikes, landing here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. While well, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek, that cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much, and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found him the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man. Color tie. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. 47 total strikes have landed for Daniel Cormier. Landing with 66% accuracy against Stipe Miocic. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And when he hip tosses him to the mat, now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Cormier's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Daniel D.C. 
right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.